Hi, it's David with Precision Zone. Today we're going to be talking about alarm fault codes that can occur on the Escala CIMR MT2 series spindle drives. Uh, this is the, for the B series. Uh, and for alarms information, uh, it is going to be located on the seven segment display uh, in the middle of the drive. For the alarms page, if you have a cover, uh, it can give you the description of each of the numbers that can occur on the seven segment display. So to begin, if you're having problems with braking, uh, especially if you're getting a over voltage on deceleration, likely there's going to be a regen circuit failure inside the drive. In that case, you would want to send that out for repair. Uh, an over voltage alarm can also indicate a problem with incoming power along with that under voltage alarm. So in that case, you want to verify that your incoming power is within range. Uh, if it's not, then you want to correct that issue before continuing. Uh, moving on to motor related issues. You can be getting an overcurrent alarm, uh, in which case it's indicating a problem most likely on the motor end of, uh, of the system. So if you have a mega available, please verify that the integrity of the insulation hasn't been compromised. Uh, if the insulation is deteriorated enough and it's grounding, uh, if it's shorting to ground, uh, that could cause that overcurrent issue. If that overcurrent issue does happen during operation of the spindle drive, likely it could have caused a fuse to blow, in which case you're also getting a fuse alarm. Other motor related issues would be that overspeed alarm. Uh, that could also indicate an issue with the feedback coming, the, the PG specifically. Uh, and if that's the case, you want to verify that the cables and connections to your PG are correct. It could be a PG issue. It could also be uh, the connection between your motor uh, and the drive itself, the motor cables. Uh, so you want to keep that in mind. You can also get uh, an uh, MCCB trip and that's just indicating that the circuit breaker on the incoming side of the drive has tripped uh, in which case um, it likely there there did occur a short inside the drive and it's tripping that breaker if you just receive this drive it's possible that it could have been tripped during shipping so please keep that in mind uh, when installing lastly you can be getting a an overload issue which is also indicating a overheat condition in which case it could be an issue with uh, the condition in which your motor is running. If it's being overloaded, overworked, uh, it could be triggering that overload alarm and the alarm will be displayed on the drive. Uh, it could also be uh, that the motor's not being cooled properly, in which case you want to clean it up and verify that uh, spindle fans work in that, that there's not too much gunk on the motor that's overheating it. Uh, it could also be uh, that the heat sink on the drive itself uh, is not being properly cooled. So if there's a lot of gunk or or coolant or anything that's gotten in, in, into those fins, you want to clear those out and make sure that the fan's working properly and, and being able to freely turn uh, to not trigger that overheat alarm. All these alarms can be caused by control circuit failure, so please keep that in mind. Our team of professional technicians recondition and test these drives in custom-built simulators and machines, along with providing a six-month warranty for all repairs, exchanges, and sales.